Welcome to back everybody to this playthrough of Vampire Survivors and in today's episode we're going to try and knock out some of these and I'm also sounding a little bit better than I was in my last recording session. I'm uh, still a bit throaty every now and then but hopefully you'll be able to put out of me having a different pitch scale to normal. But yeah we're going to go through uh, King Bible, Santa Water, Lightning Ring, Peach and Garlic maybe. Um, we need to get pentagrams, we need to get to 20 minutes, so we will do that. And we're going to do Arca here. Haven't done Arca. And haven't got any of these. So we're going to go Mad Forest again. There is a question mark in the Mad Forest, which we want to do. But the main thing is to try and upgrade some stuff to level 7 and get maybe to 20 minutes. So. Oh yeah, he's a flame boy. I like flame. It. I've seen one problem already. I need a faster firing weapon. Uh, birds is one we need to get to level seven. So that will unlock the ebony wings, I think. Uh, let's look at the grimoire a minute. I don't know about the fire wads just yet. And neither the birds, but doesn't look like I can get the birds. Because it is sort of greyed out already. Map wise, um Yeah, we probably will get some of the stuff on the screen as well. I keep trying to give birds a, a go here, but where it's not targeted damage you know it's not like at the nearest enemy or or whatnot um let's go whip here Yeah, focus damage is what I'm missing at the moment here. So I've got, I need a whip upgrade so it goes both ways. I think that's a decent upgrade. Uh, sand to water, sure. I think that's a good option to have. Especially if you can force them to sort of run into it. Come on, whip. That chicken. Alright, what are this experience here? Here come the bloody birds. Oh, we've got a red one here. Good. Um... I think a track orb is needed. Do you like that as an upgrade? The center water need. Don't know. I need the part that is on screen for sure. Okay, we'll head up and grab that in a mo. Rune tracer. I need stuff that I haven't upgraded before. So I'll go Santa Water level 2 here. I do like the Rune Tracer though. I feel like this one might be a struggle, ladies and gents. Need a chicken here. Thank you. OK, 
King Bible we do need. There's two whips needed. I need to get some weapon upgrades here. Santa Water seems to be doing some good work. When I can get enemies to walk into it. The two hits on a on an enemy to kill it isn't great. That's the bird gone. Uh, let's get Peach One. Or Peach On, I guess. Oh, there's another projectile. Oh we got a whip. That's good. That's whip level two. Not much, as much damage, but it does hit both ways. Um, all right. Let's go... Santa water here. I think that's doing some good damage for us. And it's one of those ones where you don't 100% see what it's doing because it will also hit enemies that aren't right, like directly in the center with us. You know, like this one I've just walked to is on a different plane. So anything that walks across towards it won't necessarily directly see it. Um, let's go again. Another projectile. I think this is a going to be a good one. All right, let's try and take this thing on. Let's see if we can get a, a Santa water near it. Let's grab all this leveling up gem. Santa water it's better absolutely hits it there we go it's down um round let's go fire one I need damage here another fire wand more damage more speed nice could do with the cooldown of like a tome or something here to help us just fire out a bit quicker. It's almost like attack speed. Bats. Just trying to get some health here. But I'm just getting money. What are we at? Level 11, 6 minutes. Okay. So we certainly had a slow start. I'm hoping we can now build on that slow start. Santa Water is doing some work here. I've had one run so far where I felt really, really powerful until it obviously died, but. Um, where I was actually you know, walking through enemies and. You know, that was the first time we put, did the library. Um, let's go Santa Water again. I think I'm going to prioritize that one if possible. It does do some good damage. Not sure how good it is in this sort of scenario, though. Ah, a lot of, a lot of hits. Need some health here.
That'll do. That's a nice kill all. I haven't really taken advantage of it though. Went to try and get some health and got money instead. There's another one. Um, we haven't had the duplicator. Weapon fires more projectiles. Sure. Um, I think we'll go for 10% damage here. That's going to be across everything, right? Instead of just one. Uh, go spinach again. I say we had the clock lancet and the um. Yeah, Santa Horse is doing some work. Uh, clock lancet and the cross, but. I need damage, and if I just get another weapon, it's not going to do enough real damage at this stage. Rather, try and build up one of these weapons. Oh, God. Ow. Health, please. I just need to stay out of trouble for a bit here. Took a lot of damage. Um, so I'll take the Prumaroda here for more health. I've got to because I don't have much health. I'm noticing that health regen. for health please it's money bag how far away are we just head up here try and get this max health I think Yeah, Santa Water... Oh, crap. Okay. This might be over. I need the Santa Water to do some really good work here. Gotta go. Gotta go. At it. I just can't kill him. Just do not have the damage. There's a chicken though. I'll take that. It's like four hits for this level dude. Great. Somehow managing to just pick my way through these enemies. Um, right, King Bible, another projectile. So Rune Tracer would be nice, but again, how much damage is one Rune Tracer going to do? out a little bit here um we're going to go and get that so let's go whip here 
Just more damage on the whip, I think, is going to be useful. Just trying to pick my way through here. Use the Holy, um, the King Bible, sorry, to take out some of these ghosts. Problem is now I'm not farming that very well. I'm not getting much in the way of coins. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. That was inevitable. Um, we've got more to Cassio. We've got the Santa Water. We've got the Candle something or other. We've got Clericky. Mortasio Candelabrador. Candelabrador. Okay. And Clerici. Okay. I just noticed my cursor is on the screen. Apologies for that. All right. So let's take a look at the unlocks here. So it's only King Bible, Lightning Ring, Peach Own. I'm going to just keep going. Try to do it. Garlic would have been nice, I think. That's the one we ideally would have wanted. So only these two major upgrades. Did pick up this weapons fire more projectiles is sounds decent. Um, okay, so we have permanent zero point five percent health, fifty much health starts with a temporary area. Gets more projectiles every twenty levels. Okay, well let's go, Clerici then. I'm going to go Mad Forest again. So do we start with a Santa? What do we do? Wow. Okay. Going to go birds. I want the birds up to seven. Wouldn't mind taking a garlic as well here. Something a bit close range. Lightning ring strikes at random enemies. That's one of the ones we need. Sure. That hits two. Could be useful. Get something like the duplicator or something to do even more projectiles for the birds and I'm guessing it works with Santa Water as well. Augments area of attacks by 10%. I'm sure we haven't picked it up before so it's Do I have anything that, that unlocks with the axe? Okay so maybe we pick up an axe as well at some point. See if we can get that done. Looks like that temporary buff has gone. Now finding it a little bit hard to farm. Take these, we've got some gems here. The box. This has innate health uh, regen, so. Okay. Is that area up by 10%? Okay. Um, let's go Santa Water here. Another projectile. Do you feel that is a really good option? I don't really like the bird. It's very... 
random. Um, birds, so I need that at level seven. I do feel with this health regen that we've got, we are a little bit more durable. Um, birds, again, would have quite liked the um, King Bible there, but I need to just focus down on some damage. I'll swap that out for a garlic if I get it. I do feel garlic is very, very good. That's the test here comes when you get all of the enemies. Um, do we want spinach here? I think so. Can't even get a sconce if I wanted one. That could be problematic. But I'm seeing a lot of you know deaths and stuff here. Um let's get base area up. I think that's increasing the damage zone of Santa Water here. The birds do send out a lot of projectiles. It's just quite random where they're hitting. It's a chicken. We'll keep that there for emergency uses. Um, Santa water. That nice when it hits like that. So good. Uh, uh, bats done. So it's like we can get a level every two levels every minute here. Um, I think attract orb probably will be good here because we're having to dodge around a fair few enemies. A bit of extra range for pickups will be nice. Does that have anything? Not that I know of. Still looking for something like a garlic here. All right, now we got this wrapper ring a ring of roses. Uh, birds. So you're going to focus on getting that up to ten. Uh, ten, seven. So they do do some good damage when it hits. Right, they're all gone. Look at that. The ticks of a Santa water are really, really good. I do feel like I need a, a tome or something here for attack speed, I think. Need some close range defense, uh, sort of attacking. King Bible would be good. Garlic would, for me would be better. But we're now into that area of the time where I'm struggling to, to kill stuff. I need a sip of drink here. Still not 100% perfect on my throat. Yeah, 
One Santa Water is not enough to kill one of these green dudes. See, that's so good when it does that. Right, let's just loop around these. This is why we pick up. Ah, got a chest there. That's an upgrade. Come on. Oh, we've got a turkey a chicken up here that we saved for this. It's further north. Might not make it. Right on it. There it is. Let's go and get this chest now. Um, Santa water. Okay, that's good. Some of these are quite frail. Where's that chest? Up this way. Dead. It's like the worst time to get one of them. Especially from where I was on the map. Quite a lot of gems here as well. Lightning ring. Finds another projectile. Okay. Do we need another weapon here to help? A whip. Could be good. Ah, we've got a tractor orb thing. Right, birds. That magic wand's not going to help me, really. I'm going to go and get this. This is going to be good. Um... Weapon duration. But let's go area here, I think. Garlic. Yes. That's bigger already. I instantly feel a lot safer just having that ring of garlic. Because I feel safer from them. Oh my god, what's killing me? Freaking bat leached onto me. Instantly feel safer, Earth nearly dies. But chest. Uh... Chain was good. Santa Water was good. <sighs> no, even no upgrade. So let's look at our power up here. Eight four two for that. Maybe we go for some health here. What's our mount at? Five thousand. Can't do a cooldown. Can do an area. I think we'll go recovery here. Can't get him. I quite liked her, but look at the unlocks. Do I have anything? 
person wise that we've got unlocked here at the moment doesn't look like it does it it's five for 15 minutes reach level 80 with that dude level 80 Final fireworks there's all the upgrades Now, I know anything that says Mount Moon spell is DLC, so. Um, so I'm thinking we'll bring out. Quite liked him. Go to Gennaro here. And we'll go Mad Forest again, because. A massive fan of these, but you must you got to sort of turn in and literally trust what you're doing. Um, I haven't used the cross for a while, so let's do that. To King Bible, we need King Bible to level up. So this is already a much simpler start. Trying to kill this. The good thing about the crosses is that they do um once they've hit and they boomerang back, it seems like they're rune tracer and just kill everything. Um let's go with knife again. Luckily, the runs are, you know, 10, 15 minutes here. I want to try and do a, a run where there is something positive of an unlock. You know. Cross more damage. Luckily, I can be far as fast enough that I can um, sort of get my way out of areas at the moment. Picking up anything here. So I need to just loop back and grab this. Uh, let's go King Bible here. Something like the birds, I feel you're going to need other weapons to make them a little bit better. Wanted to try and get a couple there. Um, I was going to go to Tractor, but I don't know why I wouldn't do that. Okay, 
left some gems this way, so we'll go and grab them. Garlic. So I think we've got a, a ba good basis of four here. Ideally, I'd prefer something a bit more. Um, duration effect. Sure. And I've been so caught up on like trying to think about upgrades and you know what things can upgrade what that you know, if I look into here um going right I've got the whip I need to work my way up towards the heart for instance then I'm maybe pushing myself out too far from the starting zone and hitting harder enemies I'm not sure if that's how it works there seems to be some time-based elements to it as well um go garlic really really like garlic in this it's because it seems to like st stun them for a little bit as well when they hit um let's go knife okay we're gonna stick with these weapons for a bit and get some serious upgrades in them If I do find the Pumarola, then I will. I say there's one on the map though, far away, miles. Okay. A bit more health regen, you know. Yeah, it seems like I can literally hold my own even against these green ones. So I think the cross has a bit of a knockback on it as well. point upwards here yeah we can tank a little bit here um do we go cool down here i think so it just means things will fire didn't need to pick that up like the knives are just pumping out a lot here I just don't like that they're very directional based. So these ones, there yeah, are two hits with the garlic and the brown ones go. Chicken that I do not want to pick up. Leveling has stalled a little bit again. Another bat. Can I? Yes. This, this is why I love garlic. I can literally just find that and walk straight through him. Whereas in the last attempt, that was that literally nearly killed us. Uh, King Bible. Let's get another one of them up. I think we need level four for that. Unless we've already got it, of course. I can't remember. But I'll take on these bats. Bats at this moment of time are not a problem. The only ones out that are a problem at the moment are the green dudes. Ooh, but let's go and burn him, shall we? Boom. Uh, one no, let's go garlic here. A chest. 
three chest cross garlic and knife so level five garlic level four knife another projectile of course and base speed up and base area up nice um knife of the chest here king bible nice up to level four base damage up effects last longer so i think there's is it the hand labrador one that has um increased duration would be good with them maybe we can you know get enough buffs that they last permanently that would be lovely could do with a uh, big attractor orb thing that we can get. Uh, let's get damage here. Yeah, knives are doing some serious work now. Yeah, we we don't fear them. Luckily with these knives I can probably pierce if I'm getting stuck and boxed in I can probably pierce my way out and then anything around the side gets hit by garlic and then I've got yeah then, okay then bats are different different kettle of fish but uh duplicator more projectiles I've got more King Bible already. I've got more crosses. So yeah, so duplicator is really, really good. Fortunately, the bats are a little bit stronger than our average enemy here, but I can systematically get my way through them when the like crosses hit them. And then the garlic pushes them back quite nicely. I didn't mean to pick up the chicken, but it was health. I think they're too close to them. Got chickens for days everywhere here. Right. This is the acid test. Birds, maybe let's go knife again. Get this maxed. I haven't got the upgrade for it yet. Bracer, I think it was. Yeah, which we haven't unlocked yet. Nearly, I can't go through that, but. Yeah, can nearly decimate all of this stuff. One full barrage on a green kills it. Now then, this is where things start to get a bit more scary. But, I think we're good. Um, let's go cross here. Because that's working as the um, sort of the AOE killer uh, knife. Could have picked up the axe there because I th have we got the axe upgrade? Not in this one. We haven't. It did in the last run. Okay. But I'm burning through skeletons, which is nice. close to the Pomerola? No. Okay. Yes. Exactly what we wanted. Um, Spellbinder. Uh, go Duplicator. Which is at max. Candelabra, Air of Effect. 
Uh, let's go King Bible here. Axe. No, let's go cross. Let's get that up. Um, ten percent luckier. Cool. Ah, oh, there's one of them on the map, but I've, I've said that a bit, and I've never really gotten down to one because never felt powerful enough to go venturing too far. Um, let's go cross. Yeah, even these like werewolves, rat things, we can deal with at the moment. And the King Bible is able to keep out a lot of this crap as well from us. boss coming too close to me. I can I can literally just burn straight through them. It's got a mostly here because the boss is getting pushed. It's quite significantly here. There's some good upgrades in this. Yes. Um, we pick up a rune tracer. Uh, I'm gonna go spellbind. I just want to get up what we've got. King Bible. Let's go for the tome here. Cross. Some good upgrades. Okay, cross level eight, base damage up. Got a chest. Cross is doing some good work here for us. Getting a little bit swarmed here. Go, Paul. Okay, we've got three. What is that? Evolved cross can deal critical damage. Requires clover. So the cross and clover is one then. Nice. Nice. Um, do I go for damage here? Yeah. Right, so we've got an Evolve Cross, so that's good. We've got a 15 minute sort of gatekeeping MO. Sort of managing to keep semi in line and going through here. Clover. Another chest. More garlic. Need one more level of garlic for that. Do we go a whip? Well, we've we got King Bible and garlic. Need two. Yeah, I think we'll go a whip here. This gives me a bit more close range damage. There's a chicken up there, which I'm going to just work towards. Um, King Bible, level 7. Why has this not done the circle? 15 minutes is normally a 
Another ring, isn't there? We're certainly killing a lot of stuff easier now. Uh, King Bible level 8. Or maybe a Santa Water. We'll go King Bible level 8 here. That max, yeah. Okay. Freeze. After this big boy. Another three. And we got a book upgrade. Vol King Bible Never Ends Spellbinder. Okay. That makes sense, actually, if you think about it. Never Ends. Wow, okay. Another freeze time here. Do we go fire wand? I do like the fire wand. Sure. We get another upgrade, maybe? No, tractor whip. Um, we've got the whip, so we could go and get the heart. And the fire wand we do have, so it's not the time. It could be a tractor or, or the spinach, I would guess. Or the duplicator. Okay, all right. Um, I might push up and get this heart. Yeah, we're certainly able to hold our own at the moment. I think there's one was 5-20 minutes with a character. Let's grab this chicken just to boost ourselves up a little bit. Let's get the burn baby burn, Disco Inferno. Uh, whip. It's like really good experience you can get off that. What have we got? Three, four evolutions. I can probably get another one if I get this heart up. This is what we're heading towards. So the question is, can I pick that up even though I've got maxed out stuff? We'll soon find out when we get there. Uh, garlic. So I think that's another character unlocked. Garlic level 7? Yes. Can kill stuff pretty simply at the moment. Amazing, I was really struggling at one point, nearly died. Now I'm just obliterating through. There's obviously that skull as well, which we could go and see what that's all about. Jesus, miles up. Never have thought the map would be this big. So it's a couple of barrages of the axes, not axes, knives, to kill the big boys. That should be okay. Didn't need that chicken. There's the heart. Can I pick it up? Augments max health. Can. Okay. It's just more raw damage. Let's go over and get this 
skull then. See, there was more clovers on there at the start. We're down to one, so maybe you can't get duplicates. So I can't like max out my clover and then get even more clover. I only have it once. This is... Uh, I'm glad we've got this run going. It was... Yeah, a struggle off the start. But... I feel particularly powerful and we're about to hit 20 minutes, so... It's the furthest we've got. Let's go garlic. The size of that garlic. Can I just... Yeah. Good luck. Wow. Okay, that was... Okay, it's getting a bit intense now. Not going to lie. Um, let's go... Let's go whip here. Get some more damage. I need this chicken. The bats are trying to push through here. Luckily, I can kill kill them, so it's just the enemies that they're pushing towards me. As long as it's not a boss, I think I'm okay. I do take the odd bit of damage, but... I think having Umarola or something for a, a little bit of sustain... Oh, we've got a... Well... See how this goes. The guys literally just can't get close to me. Another whip. Whip level five. Nice. We've got static plants here. Right by this one. These plants are quite durable. So I was about to say, it's only going to get problematic if there's stuff that starts moving. I want. There it is. Increases enemy speed, health, quantity, and frequency. Lovely. Um, so we could go down for the part, I guess, or we go over to the, the question mark. Let's go to the question mark. More damage. That's just 10% damage increase. Thank you very much. I don't know why you wouldn't take that every single run. Is there an... There is an attractor, which I'm going to head towards first. Pretty slow going. Um, let's go whip. Yeah, I just needs to come down on this plane. It's 
trying to go a little bit quicker here than I probably should. It's not great just sat here, you know, going one enemy down, one enemy down type thing. Let's just pick our path. These mummies I can take out pretty easily. Another chest. Three chests at you a lot, don't they? We've got a clover. Chance to get lucky. I'm guessing that's what influences the drops that you get. Like I've got chickens for days around me, but... Coming up in 25 minutes. So we know that the level limit is 30. So that's probably where the big boss comes. Still need to go down a little bit. Uh, let's go whip. I can't believe how powerful this build has actually started to come. There's a big boy. Don't want to get too surrounded here. What the hell? Okay, lots of gold. Five upgrades. We've got a heart, a tractor, two fire wands, and a spinach. Nice. Yeah, we're just romping through here at the moment. Can I just kill these normal? Yeah, I can even kill the ring of ring of roses a lot. So we can get out pretty pretty quickly but when we get out they re looks like they remake the wall but yeah good luck right on top of it there it is should be some big upgrades now uh, let's go spinach Let's go tome here. More cooldown reduction. Go fire wand. Whip. Fire wand. Fire wand. So that would be all of my weapons done. Nice. Uh, tome. Tome. That. I took some damage while I was in that menu though. Let's head up towards this symbol up here. Go health. How far away is it? Uh, I think it's manageable with the setup that we've got at the moment. But we've got some good upgrades and hopefully we'll hit the 30 minute and see what the end boss is. Which should be nice. Twenty-seven minutes was another increase, but we can just burn a hole through anything that they're throwing at us at this moment in time. Literally, you can just walk anywhere. Uh, let's go more health. So two two eight. That's a two seven four. But interestingly, it appears it just increases your health. It doesn't increase your max health. It doesn't increase your health along with it is interesting 274 to 328 
Tracked orb. Interesting when he got one pick up there. Because I know that the heart, a uh, skull, sorry, is something we could do. We're still miles away, Paul. Just. If you want to go and see it, you're going to need to put your feet that foot down. Yeah. Why can't we pick up the skull anymore? Is that because oh, there's a chest down there? Alright, what have we got? Evolved fire wand. Passes through enemies. Requires spinach. Okay. The fire wand is spinach. Without dying. Uh, restores 30 points of health. Sure. So why is the skull not upgraded? Take the health here. Much as gold would be good. Did need some health. Chicken. I don't think we're making it up in a minute over there, so let's just kill some stuff. I don't think we're going to get the 5,000 gold either challenge. need a bit of health there. Push through, get all of these upgrades. So we're doing a lot of damage. I don't think we can do too much more here. When the big boss comes, I think we're just going to get obliterated by just the general enemies in our area. And a bit more risky. See if we can get these 500 gold. giant blue venus yep yeah. get the king rival up so there's the bracer which would be the upgrade for the knife we've got a new character poe for getting garlic up five thousand coins in a single run um okay so the additional ones we've got we've got five 20 minutes we've got pentagram by 20 minutes that we've released 10 percent curse llama evolve the cross evolve the king bible evolve the fire wand and unlock hyper mode for any normal stage. Cool. Wow, 7,000 gold pieces. Let's see. So we've got Poe, who comes with garlic as a start. Um, starts with King Bible. Starts with Axe. Starts with what looks like a bone. Okay, we've got 750, 750, 750, 750. Let's unlock the characters. I think that's going to be good because we got some new ones to play with. Um, yes, fifteen percent might. Starting off with garlic is so good. Going to be so good. Um, oh, and we've got a tick on Mad Forest. So yes, yeah, so if you go through and I guess get to the end and get obliterated by that red dude, you get a tick. Um, unlocks. So we need lightning ring, peach home, pentagram we can do. So I think we'll focus on that. Five thirty minutes of llama. 
Well, I've only just managed to do it once, so we'll see. Um, so that passes for enemies, yep. Yeah. That never ends, and that can deal critical damage. I didn't check the damage on them. I was too focused on um, what we unlocked. So I'll take a look at that off screen. Um, power up wise, we go might here. Or 3000, which isn't enough for this, which is what I really could do want. And this more experience, 3% more experience, I think would be good. Let's go might, and we can go might. So that's maxed. Oh, and you can turn it on and off. Okay. So we've got 25% more might on that. So uh, yeah. next time, I will probably take out more Tassio and go to. Um, another level i think there was the question mark that we were trying to go off towards but i couldn't quite get there um because we focused on getting some of the other stuff um but we'll probably do something like the library um maybe do the dairy plant because we need to go through that but um yeah we're just going to explore like the library or something and, and see what that is we'll take out bone man because um, that looks like a bone and uh yeah we will Call this one here. Thank you much, everyone. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Really to help me out. There'll be some more vampire survivors coming away shortly. And I'll see you all in the next one.